Hey folks, welcome to another video. It's Angie here. I'm back in Japan and I'm in the town of Ofuna, just south of Yokohama. Today, I'm going to be showing you the Shonen monorail, which connects the town of Ofuna to the seaside town of Enoshima. And I think what makes this monorail so special and so intriguing is that the monorail is actually above the cars. And intuitively, I think this adds a very unique uh, feeling and experience. So come along, let's check out the Shonen monorail. So come jump on board and let's check out the Shonen monorail. Today was a chilly, rainy February day. So I was glad the short walk from JR Ofuna station provided some cover from the elements. Ofuna is located just south of Yokohama and is easily missed by visitors heading to Enoshima as many transfer at Fujisawa one stop later. The Shonen monorail consists of 8 stations and it costs 320 yen to get to the other end. You can either purchase a ticket or simply use an IC transit card. The station is quaint and has ticket machines and card readers. Here we can see one of the trains arriving into the station on the overhead rail. Passengers are let off on one side but for awaiting passengers board on the other. Trains come every few minutes so not too long after we were on the train and headed to the first stop. The first station is about 900 meters away and for my first experience, it was very cool traveling over all the traffic. The monorail definitely has some character, which you can hear as it makes its way down the track. As we pull into the first station, let's take a look inside the train. Each train consists of three cars. The size is definitely noticeably smaller uh, than an ordinary train. The cars are not terribly tall, and I'm sure anyone six feet or higher is going to be cleaning the ceilings and probably hitting their heads on the doors. There are three box seats on either side, along with a few individual seats on either ends. Uh, due to the short height, there are no luggage racks above the seats. Another interesting thing about this line is that it just doesn't glide over the streets. There are two small tunnels that go through hills, such as this one close to the end. Although the two panes of glass and the glare from the rain inhibited my view today. This tunnel brings us to our last stop, Shonen Enoshima Station. It's much smaller than Ofuna and quite quiet as there was really no one here. Trains came and went with only a few passengers this Sunday morning. The station wasn't even staffed at this hour. So, why visit Enoshima in the first place? Well, Enoshima is a coastal town known for its beaches. With it being only 60 to 90 minutes away from Tokyo, it's an easy day trip. Besides the beaches, there's some great local food and drinks that can be found while walking about, and the small island has some great views to offer. Kamakura is a small town connected by the Enoshima Railway, known for its temples and shopping street. Visitors can browse a plethora of street food and try something new. Check out my video of this great area which I did back in 2018 when the weather was a little bit more pleasant. 
Back in Shonen and Oshima, it's time to head back. One thing I enjoy about this line is that no two trains are alike on the outside. Each has its own design, such as this Tokyo 2020 train. This year, the monorail is celebrating its 50th year of operation. It began operation back in 1970, originally with two cars per train. And I think from both the ground and the train, the monorail still has a futuristic vibe as it whizzes over the streets and through the tunnels. The monorail is a great way to experience one of Japan's small rail lines while staying close to Tokyo. Before leaving the station, don't forget to get a stamp to remember your journey. All right, so that's a Shonen monorail. It's a great little uh, monorail line. Uh, one thing I liked about it is the quaint cuteness of it. It's small, three cars, the cars are small. Um, I really enjoy it. It gives you a different perspective than, than, uh, than a train on the ground. You're, you're higher up, so you get to see a little bit more of the uh, the rolling mountains, even with the foggy day, rainy day that is today, you get to see kind of the more the the, the rolling landscape uh, out here in Kanagawa, a little bit different than the flat area of Tokyo. I think not so many tourists maybe uh, know about it. I certainly didn't uh, when I came to Japan. It was at the uh, first time five years ago, so it definitely uh, is a different perspective. And uh, most people when they go to Enoshima, Enoshima is really popular. They just take the the train to Fujisawa and. Uh, go that way uh, but th you know this offers another uh, alternative uh, for those that like uh, you know trains and monorails and stuff like that uh, definitely something to experience a little bit different than the uh, than the masses when they go to Enoshima nonetheless I hope you like looking at the Shonen monorail uh, if you did please uh, give a thumbs up please leave a comment let me know what you think about it and uh, yeah I'll see you guys around next time